my fighting was my was my compassion. So I didn't worry about what time of night it was, what time of day it was. Uh, we, we went. A couple of people said if, if we have a fire, they want Charles Whitaker, Ray Thanks, and George. He would make sure we'd be there. We just took pride in our work and done a good job doing it. You had a family, and we supported one another. If you were on a hose line in a building and you had a man on the pump, you knew your life depended on him, even though he was a volunteer. There was a good brotherhood, still is, with the boys that's left. I think it was something that's actually innate or born within you, being able to offer that level of service, particularly a community as small as Holly Springs was at the time. Holly Springs 101, 1023, condition red, code one. With the help of other departments around, we were able to get some equipment together and become a fire department. And then through training, uh, we were able to then get certified as a fire department in Wake County. Well, that was the only station in Holly Springs, 11 Point Avenue Ferry Road, and that's the one that the volunteer guys built that station. I uh, lived within about a mile and a half of the department itself once it was built. I was there probably a lot more than my wife probably wanted me to be. <laughs> no sleeping quarters, but we had a uh, kitchen, we had a kitchen, we had a, a meeting room and uh, office and two or three bays, you know, coming up on the back at the front. Yeah. And then behind that, we had a, something like a, a pit that we could barbecue on. To raise money, we were having two barbecues a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. And that was our major fundraisers. That's, that Back then, that made our truck payments. And when we bought our fresh truck, the citizens of Holly Spring, they were proud to see a new truck. They were standing outside the street waving at the fire truck when it came through town. It was a great day for Holly Springs to have a fresh new fire truck. So compared to what you guys did, you all built station, the, the previous station on Avon Ferry Road. You all built that. That's right. So you did actually did the work. What do you think of seeing stuff like this with all of these machines and contractors? Makes it a little easier, doesn't it? It's nice, a nice layout for a fire station. It's, it's real nice, yeah, yeah. Here we're looking at the apparatus base. We're gonna have three apparatus bays for fire trucks to go through. There's crew quarters over here. We've got enough room for um, 10 firefighters to stay 24 hours. Now, let me ask you one thing, you're gonna have room to expand if you had to. The plan is we've got that third bay on here, so if we need to expand, that bay can be put into service. But um, with the d data that we've uh, analyzed for this area, we're hoping that two bays will suit us for the next 40, 50 years. Mr. Whitaker, it goes without saying, we're appreciative of the Holly Springs Rural Fire Department laying the foundation for the current department.